Hello and welcome brothers to this unboxing of the new Blood Angels releases. It's got the tactical squad somewhere in there and it's got the little sanguinary priest and I think it's even got the codex. Plus it comes in this limited edition excellent brown box. I do apologise, I've had some chocolate. I'm going to be opening it with the the best relic in the Blood Angels armoury. The Spydeco Rubicon. Oh, it hurts. I'll tell you that. It hurts. I'm in the inner sanctuary because I've got my, my candle just to set the mood. Um, to dim and down, simmer down my, my black rage. Let's just see if my delivery details are on the top. <laughs> they are as well. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, GW. GW, guys. Right. Uh, let's unbox it. Okay, let's have a look. You've probably just now seen my um, Christmas guide, which is included in there. You also get your little card. This time of year, GW would like to do this. Season's greetings. Looks like you've been a good and merry Christmas. So you get that as well. So uh, that's cool in a way because you know if you've got kids and you're buying some GW stuff. Um, you can put some money in there, or voucher, or whatever. Uh, PlayStation code. Who who knows? But there you go. And you get one of these books. Where you've seen what you've seen one of those catalogs already. So let's have a look at this box that you get. So it doesn't actually look like it's, it's held together. You've it comes un unpackaged in a way. Uh, the the it's really cool actually. Oh, you can't really see, can you? I have to wiggle this about. Oh, don't worry, it's just a just an earthquake. Keep calm and let's carry on unboxing. Right. So if you can see this, ah, there we go. Beautiful. So if you can see this, it comes kind of un undone. So I think that the reason behind this is, yeah. So it comes uh, not not really. Uh, the, the reason behind it, I think, is you stuff it with loads of other presents, maybe, uh, some Games Workshop products, and then you obviously take peel back that sticker and you attach it, and then it's frustration-free packaging. You just tear it and, and you open it, and I suppose you could use it again. Uh, I'm quite impressed, actually. It's quite sturdy. You could use it for... You could. You, it's high enough for you to store your Imperial Night Titans in. Uh, yeah, you, you could. I'm quite impressed with that for a freebie, I think. Uh, so yeah, that, that's cool. Um, so that gets a thumbs up. And it, yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the frustration-free packaging. I mean, you know, be, being a knife owner and things, you you know, you want to use your knife wherever you can. But uh, but anyway, I'm going to try and open this without it touching that candle and um, making a very hilarious video. So we've got lots of. Uh, this will probably set on fire too. Oh, maybe. Lots of airbags in there, and look what we've got in here. Oh, excellent, excellent. So, I just had to just buy a, a land speeder. I think this is my seventh. I don't know. But I just had to, had to just get one of those. Um, this is the new Blood Angel Sanguinary Priest. £18. I think that's the norm now. I think any kind of plastic characters that they're doing independently set you back £18. So they've They've hit the ground running with these uh, plastic ones, and um, that's kind of like the the sprue and everything. I will be doing um, an unboxing and finished pr product of all of these, uh, but this is just a primarily an unboxing for some new releases. These are the new the new tactical squad. Well, a heavy flamer, and they've got Blood Angel specifics. If you wanted to know, oh, super, why'd you buy Blood Angels? Why didn't you get Dark Angels or Space Wolves or anything like that? Well, although my Space Marine Army, I, I used to call them Black Bloods. Um, they are, you know, they're not really fluff based, but they're kind of to do with the Blood Angels in the way that they use the rules, and they've got a lot of kind of Blood Angels aspects to them. Um, and then sometimes I can just use them as normal Space Marines, so uh, I'm not going to be very cheesy and use all of the rules that you can, but they kind of use the rules from the Blood Angels. Uh, really nice, really nice box set. 
Um, I think it's the same as the normal box set, £28. I think that's about standard now. £28 for 10 Space Marines. Whatever happened to 10, 10 for £10, eh? No. Oh, well. And I got a box of Sanguinu Guard because I've never had them. I think they're exactly the same, actually, uh, just in a fancy new package. Same with the Death Company. I think they've changed the Death Company package. Uh, I've always really liked the models and I'm determined to make these and uh, show them off as well. I just think that they're pretty, pretty impressive models. And finally, the Codex. And it is nicely sealed and no bumped corners. So we'll open that up in a moment and we'll get kind of like a first look uh, at that. Uh, what I will say, and there's nothing else in there, but it'll make a nice box to store your models in or whatever. I think it's, it's a really nice box. And um, what I will say is don't ever spend your £6.50 and get fast delivery. Don't. That's, that's super top tip for the day. Don't spend that extra £6.50, put it, towards, put it towards a few paints or a brush or something like that. Always get your standard delivery. Super, why are you telling me this? Um, you know, fast delivery, don't you get it quicker? No. Uh, I ordered these on Monday with the fast delivery. On their website, they say, if you order before Wednesday, on the week of release, uh, we will send them, to, we will ship them on the Friday. We will, you know, post them off to you on the Friday. That didn't happen. Uh, they shipped them out very first thing, very early on a Saturday morning. Um, so, and that, and that is what happened for the previous week's release for the Deathstorm. Uh, they did the same thing, but that time I didn't pay my six pound fifty. So if I can, if I can relay one tip to you today, is don't pay the extra six pound fifty because they lie. They do not send you the the models, um, you know, sooner on the Friday so that you get them on release day. If you really want to get all the new releases on release day and spend release day making the new models, go you. You pretty much have to go into the store or order them or just phone up your store and go, you know, releases are on Saturday. Can you hold a couple of boxes back for me? They're fine for you to do that. Uh, I've done that many times and that's just the tip. Don't ever spend your £6.50 or your 11 quid or whatever it is for the super ridiculous delivery so that you get them on the Saturday. You never will. Um, you'll always get them on the Monday. So if you are going to buy the releases, don't pay for postage whatsoever uh, and just be happy to get them on the Monday after release. But if you really want them on the Saturday, either go into the store, order them on the online store to get them picked up at the store or phone them up and get them to withhold a couple of uh, boxes of whatever you need. That's my tip. I think it's incredibly useful though uh, because my £6.50 obviously didn't go any anywhere there and I think I probably will be emailing them after this video uh, to request that money back because I got these the same day as uh, I got the last release and I didn't pay my £6.50 so uh, that's a moaning and whinging out of the way with so that's kind of like the unboxing video of you know the new releases I'm gonna do separate videos for all of these so sorry about that but uh, it's just the way I'd rather do them I'd rather do the unboxing and review and have them all in, in the same, same kind of video.